Hey, what's up guys? It's the Crypto Ginger here. Just wanted to bring you a real quick update on some things happening in the cryptocurrency community. Now before we get started, hit that like button and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Now guys, you can see it is February 8th, 2018. We're sitting on a market cap of just over $394 billion and if you're looking at the charts guys, um, we've seen some pretty positive bull runs taking place uh, since uh, about the 6th of this month, so just a couple of days ago, which co actually coincides with the day that we uh, had the Senate Banking Committee meet up with the SEC and the CFTC regarding Bitcoin, um, cryptocurrencies and the regulations behind that, and even uh, the blockchain technology. Which, if you paid attention to that and um, watched that uh, that committee meeting, then you would have seen that yes, there were some um, extreme concerns regarding cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. But overall, it felt like the tone of the entire committee meeting was actually in the positive for cryptocurrency, especially blockchain technology. A lot of these guys, uh, these bigger investors and bankers. Um, are definitely supporting blockchain technology but cryptocurrency in general because of how volatile it is um, a lot of them have been very leery about getting into this but as you can see again since that meeting um, that we saw uh, cryptocurrencies have actually jumped up here in a, in a pretty decent and uh, positive fashion so nothing too significant some coins are going a little bit more sideways than others but uh, if you were to look at the um, this chart here on trading view this is strictly Bitcoin you can see that it's been uh, testing the um, you know the 80 uh, the 8600 mark um, getting close to that I would imagine that if we can break uh, the $8,600 mark with Bitcoin we can start seeing even more of a bull run with this coin um, but uh, as of right now it, it is kind of testing that area so we want to we want to make sure we're seeing it past that before we start uh, before it then creates uh, another support line. So uh, keep your eye on that, guys. I do know that there's some good information coming out here and there to help cryptocurrency in general. This is an article coming from CCN uh, just recently stating that European banks could now be getting themselves invested in Bitcoin through things such as the Bitcoin futures from the US exchanges. Now interesting enough here guys uh, from the uh, European banks uh, standpoint and the president uh, Mario Draghi um, he definitely has a huge interest in this regarding you know Bitcoin futures contract how it could be a positive but it's funny because um, you know obviously the concerns being that there's some unregulated that you know Bitcoin's unregulated that it's still a very risky asset so it's like you know this guy is teetering on the fence of whether or not it's something uh, to jump on versus whether or not it's not something to jump on um, but I can't imagine that these guys are going to sit back and watch everybody else invest in the cryptocurrency and watch that rise and then miss out so uh, regardless of whether or not they consider it a very risky asset if more investors especially institutional investors get involved in this um, you're possibly going to see more bankers and banking um, institutions get involved because they don't want to miss out on that kind of money and that kind of leads me to uh, this article here which is uh, this was coming through CNBC now of course I don't necessarily use this as a, a resource uh, means just simply because of how um, it almost seems like a silly platform for CNBC to use to try to get involved in cryptocurrency but I found this article interesting because uh, more people uh, investing into stocks and, and finances and even cryptocurrencies uh, as far as them being experts, they're stating that we could potentially see a $50,000 Bitcoin by the end of this year. Um, of course, you know, all of this I would imagine is just simply speculation. All of this has to be speculation. But the fact that we have already seen cryptocurrency hit uh, its all time highs um, running from December into January, it would only make sense that we we're going to want to see this year alone us testing those all-time highs with the entire market cap again hitting around 820 billion and then start breaching towards the uh, the trillion dollar mark so we could easily see us hitting the trillion dollar mark and of course you know these experts are stating you know once we start seeing the more implemented ideas of lightning network uh, for Bitcoin is when we're going to start seeing the increase and the flood of people joining in because that's going to help uh, the transaction times and possibly even help uh, minimize some of the 
those uh, transaction fees or at least bring them down so again good news along the way with with you know information coming out you know people that are again considering themselves experts and looking at this in a way that um, could potentially help us uh, see more growth and more mass adoption I talk about mass adoption on a regular basis in my videos and this is something that will definitely help that so again um, <sighs> We could possibly see again fifty thousand dollar Bitcoin by the end of this year, guys. So um, don't take this as uh, as complete law. This is just definitely speculation and things to kind of keep your eye on when it comes to that. Um, outside of that, guys, uh, I want to tell you there was a <laughs> a couple of companies that put blockchain on their name to try to not only boost sales for their company and try to bring their company back into the limelight again after they were dying off but we're also seeing that not a lot of these uh, implemented ideas for adding blockchain to your name really has helped and, and Kodak was actually one of the biggest ones Kodak putting uh, blockchain to their name and then all of a sudden uh, you know their stock prices jump up around 30 37 percent you could tell that this is a dying market this is a dying company um, and unfortunately even with them putting blockchain on here you can see that um, it's not going to help uh, there's a quote here the um, right here it says uh, because of uh, because of the company staring at possibility of default and debt restructuring for the next 12 to 18 months nothing of them putting the blockchain to their name and trying to incorporate that Kodak would actually be part of uh, the cryptocurrency world with their own ICO nothing of that actually really stopped the decline of Kodak so again just simply putting blockchain to your name doesn't help you guys it's really implementing the blockchain technology with your company so um, I just thought that was very interesting in regards to that you very well very well could be seeing quite a bit more companies that look like they're failing trying to come out with some sort of blockchain ICO technology behind it to bring them back to life uh, could you imagine if you guys are anybody familiar with um, the VHS rental company Blockbuster could you imagine Blockbuster coming back and trying to use blockchain so Blockbuster blockchain uh, that would be interesting but um, all jokes aside guys it does look like we are uh, we are definitely starting to see some positivity in the market here um, not very sporadic but definitely enough to you know shine some light back into the cryptocurrency world so again I apologize for this being long-winded but I want to give you guys an understanding that we are starting to see some positivity since that banking committee meeting that took place um, and this is very likely we might not be seeing uh, uh, too much of a catastrophic burst in whatever bubble we might have seen this is possibly the end I'm, again all speculation I'm not a financial advisor nor is this financial advice but this is to give you some understanding that we could be seeing um, what looks to be maybe an uptrend and a bullish rally for all of these coins so keep your eye on that guys leave your uh, you know if you don't uh, if you think something else is going to change leave that information in the comment I'd love to have some dialogue with you guys and uh, if you have any coins that you want me to look into just as well for a possible video let me know in the comment section also and if you like what you see hit that like button please it really helps draw more people into this channel and uh, also guys um, I apologize going back and forth to this. I'll make this really quick, but uh, please do follow me on my Twitter. I actually use my Twitter quite a bit more than anything just because I'm on here more frequently th when I'm at work. And I am uh, able to actually communicate with a lot more people this way. So um, please uh, never mind where it says following. I have 666 people that I'm following. That's uh, that's pure coincidence but anyways guys please follow me um, please hit that like and subscribe button and if you want to know if, uh, any other future videos hit that little notification bell just as well outside of that thanks again guys for being a part of this and have a wonderful day bye bye